We are back again with the most important questions for Prelim 2020 and the word of the day is positivity. So moving on to the first question for the day. Consider the following. The Indian Coast Guard offshore patrol vessel Varat has been commissioned into service. ICGS Varat will be deployed at Paradeep. Third, ICGS Varad will be deployed for the surveillance of India's exclusive economic zone. Now, which of the following statements here are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 1, 3 only. D. 1, 2, 3. So, here the correct answer is D. 1, 2, 3. All the statements here are correct. And also a little fact about uh, this um, vessel is that it is one of the first major defense ship to clear all the sea sortie in one single uh, trial in our shipbuilding industry history and also it is under the operational control of North Eastern Regions Coast Guard all right so please note that moving on to the next question which of the following statement here are correct Bharat Rang Mahotsav is the annual theater festival of National School of Drama Second statement, National School of Drama is the largest theatre festival of Asia dedicated solely to theatre. Third statement, National School of Drama was set up by Sangeet Natak Academy. So, the correct answer here is A. 1, 2, 3. Alright. So, also a little fact is that this National School of Drama was registered in 1975 as an autonomous organization under the Society's Registration Act and was fully funded by the Ministry of Culture. Alright, so moving on to the third question. Which of the following statements here are correct? Now, first statement. The National Investigation Agency is empowered to deal with terror-related crimes across state but with the special permission from the National Security Advisor. Second statement. The governing body of National Investigation Agency is the Ministry of Home Affairs. Third statement. Special National Investigation Agency courts are presided over by a judge appointed by the Chief Justice of India. So, you can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section. Now, the correct answer here is C2 only. Alright? Now, the reason being, it says that it requires special permission from the National Security Advisor, which, by the way, is incorrect because it does not require any special permission from anybody because it's, a, it's the Central Counterterrorism Law Enforcement Agency, alright? And here it says in the third statement that it is the courts are presided over by a judge appointed by the Chief Justice of India. Now, this is incorrect because they are presided over by a judge appointed by the central government on the recommendation of the Chief Justice of India, sorry, Chief Justice of the High Court with jurisdiction in that region. Okay? So, I'll repeat this statement again that they do not require any special permission from anyone and here in the court's statement, it is presided over by the judge appointed by the central government all right on the recommendation of the chief justice of the high court who is in that jurisdiction of that particular state all right so moving on to the next question in which of the following state of india inner line permit is required now here first state First, Assam, second, Meghalaya, third, Mizoram, fourth, Nagaland, fifth, Manipur, sixth, Arunachal Pradesh. Now, the year, the correct answer is A. Please be very careful. It says only Mizoram, Nagaland, Manipur, and Arunachal Pradesh require inner line permit. Alright. <coughs> now, a little information about the inner line permit is that. It is an extension of the Bengal Eastern Frontier Agents, uh, Frontier Regulation Act of 1873. All right, and uh, the inner line permit is issued by the concerned state government and can be availed both by applying online or in person. All right, so moving on to the next question. Now, which of the following statement here are correct? First statement: Eurasian otter is distributed in the Himalayan foothills 
southern western ghats and central indian landscape second statement it is on the iucn red list near uh, near threatened species third statement it was recently spotted in the koleru lake now the correct answer here is d 1 and 2 only all right the reason being it was actually spotted in the chilka lake which is in orissa all right so moving on to the next question consider the following first statement the interim government function according to the government of india act 1919 second statement viceroy wavell called upon indian representatives to join the interim government third statement it was the only such cabinet in india's history in which both congress and muslim league shared power at the center fourth statement it was rat it ratified the convention on international civil aviation select the correct code a all of the above b none of the above c three only d 1 2 3 only now here the correct answer is a all of the above all right now little fact about uh, the interim government now it was formed uh, in 1946 okay by jawaharlal nehru and uh, the idea to start the interim government was actually uh, laid in the cripps mission in 1942 all right and uh, um, also another name for the interim government is the provisional government all right and it was formed from the newly elected constituent assembly of india theek hai in 1946 now moving on to the next question which of the following country is the current president of un convention to combat desertification a india b china c brazil d australia now here the correct answer is a all right now recently china to uh, sorry india took the presidency over from china all right and uh, now little fact about uh, this uh, convention is that it is the only legally binding international agreement linking environment and development to sustainable land management and uh, the countries that have agreed to make sustainable development goal target of achieving land degradation neutrality by 2030 has now making it a national target for action at the delhi declaration which was concluded recently all right so moving on to the next question Which of the following statement here are correct? First statement: September second is celebrated as Tibetan Democracy Day by the Tibetan people living in exile in India. Second statement: the Tibetan Parliament in exile is the highest legislative body of the Central Tibetan Administration. Third statement: the Tibetan government in exile is not recognized officially by any country. Select the correct code: A one two three, B one and two only, C two and three only, D none. So your the correct answer is A one two three. All right. So basically, this Tibetan government ex in exile is not recognized by any country. All right. Please note that, including India. India has also not recognized it. And um, a little fact: it is based in Dharamshala, which is in Himachal Pradesh. All right. And uh, it has a Tibetan Supreme Justice Commission. which is the judicial organ and a kashak which is the executive organ all right and uh, um on march 10 1963 the lai lama promulgated the constitution of the tibetan government in exile all right so moving on to the next question pradhan mantri bharatiya jan aushadi pariyojana is a campaign launched by a ministry of agriculture b ministry of ayush C Ministry of Health and Family Welfare D none of the above So here the correct answer is D none of the above Now the reason being it is actually a campaign launched by Department of Pharmaceutical all right and it will provide uh, quality medicines at a very affordable price to all the masses um uh, through the special kendras which are known as Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadi Kendra all right and uh, 
the our bureau of pharma which is which happens to be the public sector undertaking of india happens to be the implementing agency of this pradhan mantri bhartiya jan aushadhi yojana all right so moving on to the last question for the day a report titled Oxyg ocean deoxygenation everyone's problem is published by a iucn b ipcc c the united nations framework convention on climate change d worldwide fund for nature so now here the correct answer is a iucn all right now <clears throat> also one must know that uh, the loss of oxygen due to warming of ocean has alarming consequences for global oceanic oxygen reserves all right which is already reduced by 2% over a period of just 50 years this is what the report states okay one must know that also the period of 50 years is from 1960 to 2010 all right and the volume of anoxic water now what is anoxic water anoxic waters are basically areas which are completely depleted of oxygen okay and therefore their uh, share of such anoxic water is increasing four times this is what the report states and lastly if such a situation continues further in terms of global warming the ocean is expected to lose 3 to 4% of its oxygen inventory globally by the year uh, 2100 all right so that's it for the day and uh, for more information on our various courses please visit our website www.ashas.com and for more information and for such daily videos please subscribe to our youtube channel and also like and share to our youtube videos thank you